Okay, so boom, the fight starts off with Sasuke and his minions pulling up on Killer B, and they immediately get to talking that hot junk. But Killer B not going. You're the eighth tail, right? Yeah, you're coming with us. I'm not coming with you. You must be sick in the head. Lay a finger on me, and I'll send all four of y'all to bed. Hey, no Ghost Rider 2. That was on me. Now, if you think I made up that S tier bar for no reason, you are sadly mistaken. This man, Killer B, speaks and raps 90% of the time. The Jay Z level bars that I just gave you were just an upgraded version of Killer B's verse, except his sounded like this. Freeze! Let me capture you, sir, please! Ah! Yeah, we definitely not making out the hood with that one. After hearing such garbage bars, Sasuke immediately puts his team into formation. That boy Sasuke out here calling plays like he's Braun. He tells Jugo to take his left and Sugetsu to take his right. And what does he tell Meat Muncher to do? Absolutely nothing, because she's useless. To my surprise, he actually tells her to watch his back. Sasuke better than me. He must got a lot of faith in this woman. I'd rather have a blind, deaf monkey with no arms and no legs watch my back than to have this s tier glazer do we already seen how much of a burden she was in that donzo fight she can stay her ass home sasuke better pray nothing attacks him from behind because with her ass as the last line of defense his back will get destroyed so Igetsu decides to charge at killer b first and this man killer b didn't move a muscle look how he posted up arms crossed face relaxed he's chilling you just know suigetsu is about to get cooked suigetsu jumps in the air ready to cut Killer B in half, but Killer B blocks his swing with his bare hands, tosses it in the air, then uses it for his next attack like it's his. Oh nah, this gotta be some of the most disrespectful shit I've ever seen. How you let him take your sword off the first attack? Killer B out here looking like Debo, just snatching chains left and right. Straight boot ganged his sword and kept it pushing. Nah, so he to go ahead and bring that sword back to Zabaza's grave, cause you're not worthy of wielding it. Killer B starts spitting more garbage bars while spinning spinning Suigetsu's sword around his neck. So Jugo decides to charge him, but gets smacked by the handle of the spinning sword. From this move alone, I was able to come to the conclusion that this man's IQ is 15. Max. What exactly was your plan here? Did he not see Killer B turn himself into a human fidget spinner with that big ass sword? That curse mark must be messing with his eyesight because that was clear as day. Jugo not going out like that so he grabs the handle of the sword and rips it off of Killer B's neck. Okay, Jugo got the ups now, he gotta take advantage. All of a sudden the cameraman takes the camera off of Killer B and Jugo and all we hear is a loud hit. Now I'm over here thinking, damn, he must have popped Killer B in his mouth with that big old curse mark fit. You know someone got violated when even the cameraman can't watch. Come to find out, it was Jugo who got violated. Cause the next thing we see is this nigga coughing up blood as he falls to the ground. Killer B then begins to drop some more garbage bars that nobody asked for. And just so you know I'm not lying, this is what it sounds like. My powers are flash and still more in my stash. Eight tails that be me, the- <laughs> I lied. I had to cut it short. My ears started bleeding. I'm not playing the whole thing. You just gotta trust me. This, this is, is not, not a banger. banger. This, this is, is not, not a banger, banger. and I and know I bangers. Know bangers. Killer B picks up Jugo and tosses him like he's a bag of trash. Then Meat Muncher decides to ask the dumbest question possible. Are you alright? No, I'm not alright. You didn't see him violate my organs then bounce me across the ground like a basketball? Asking if I'm alright. Jump in and do something, B. Sasuke tired of watching these bums get clapped. So he jumps in the air ready to swing on Killer B with his sword. But Killer B blocks it. Before Sasuke can even plan another attack, Killer B charges at him with Sugetsu's sword. But Sasuke blocks his attack too. Keep how Killer B swinging this big ass sword with just one hand. That sword's about 6'1". He really lifts for real. I know he benching 450 easy. Sasuke then jumps above B and pins Killer B's sword down with his own. Notice how I said Killer B's sword. You mad, huh? Yes. Sasuke uses this opportunity to hit B with a spinning kick to his neck. But this man eats it like a 4 for 4 Wendy's meal. Strong ass neck. He didn't even move back an inch. Just straight absorb the blow. How do you even develop a neck that strong? What's the workout plan? And to make things even worse, he didn't even bother to counter. He just takes out his notebook and starts writing some more Lil Pump level bars. Sasuke uses this as an opportunity to give Sugetsu his sword back. And peep the noise he makes as he catches it. <sighs> Little bro, 
give it up. You grunting this loud just to catch the damn sword. Meanwhile, Killer B out here swinging it with one hand like it's nothing. You're trash. Killer B then pulls out all seven of his swords ready to go to work. And this is exactly where my journey would have ended. I'm not fighting no nigga who knows how to wield seven swords at a time. Look. That shit is in his elbow crease. What technique is this? Out here looking like a damn porcupine. Yeah, nah, I'm good. The Akatsuki can't be paying that much. And to top things off, he's still spitting that hot garbage. Quickly take a look, cause now I'll give you a taste of my hook. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Listen, I don't know what he meant by that, but hey, look. I, nah, I'm not tasting no hook. You keep that junk to yourself. B makes the first move on Sasuke, and to be very honest, I can't even begin to describe the unorthodox moves this man is doing right now. He really looked like he breakdancing. Even in slow-mo, it's indescribable. All I know is he giving Sasuke that work. Sasuke's been on the defensive the whole time. After a little bit more breakdancing, B catches Sasuke lacking by hitting him with his leg sweep and launching him in the air with his two feet. He not letting Sasuke breathe though because he continues to give him work while in the air, hitting Sasuke with this double slice sending him back to the ground. Before Sasuke can even look up, Killer B throws three swords at Sasuke, but Sasuke weaves them all. Look how he flipping to recollect his swords. How did he even get that to stick to his leg? Does this nigga have on velcro pants? What is going on? Killer B then hits Sasuke with a mean backhand sword swing, but Sasuke blocks it. He starts overwhelming Sasuke with all seven of his swords and finally starts slicing him up like a piece of meat at the butcher's. Killer B launches himself in the air while simultaneously distracting Sasuke with his sword. He tries to stop Sasuke's heading, but he notices his big ass foot coming from above just in time to get out the way. Look at the fear in this man's face. Looking like he just saw a ghost. This is the face that I imagine every single member of my O-line had every play. Cause them boys couldn't block for shit. Scary ass. Yeah, I remember. I was fighting for my life out there every play. I was really a one man army out there. If I catch any of you outside, it's on site, no talking, straight hands. Killer B hits Sasuke with this mean swing, but Sasuke blocks it. So Killer B pulls out another leg sweep, then slices Sasuke again, this time sending him flying. Sasuke knows he's getting worse, so he pulls out the Chador. He runs to pick up his sword and infuses it with lightning, ready to put it through B's chest. And I know Sasuke thought he was cooking with that move, but he must have not read the scouting report, because B blocks his lightning infused sword with one of his own. Look how shook Sasuke looks, as if he's the only ninja who knows how to use lightning style. you're not special and b you not safe either he over here smiling with that dirty ass sword in his mouth yeah he thought i wouldn't notice i know you're not keeping track of which sword goes where that's probably the same sword that was lodged inside your musty armpits not too long ago you're dirty while blocking sasuke's attacks b throws six of his swords into sasuke sending him tumbling across the ground b trying to finish the job so he charges at sasuke before he can even get up leaps high as hell into the air then tries to slice Sasuke in half. But before he can make contact, Suigetsu blocks him with his giant sword. Killer B really on <laughs> go mode though, so he infuses his sword with lightning and begins to cut through Suigetsu's sword like paper. Sasuke infuses Suigetsu's sword with lightning, stopping B's sword from cutting any further. Then, out of nowhere, this man Jugo sneaks Killer B with this mean right hook. Jugo on some different type of timing because mid punch, this man activates the turbos in his fist, giving Killer B 700 horsepower of fist. Meat Muncher pulls the swords out of Sasuke, then tells him to hurry up and bite her so he can heal. And of course she lets out a scream of joy, we already know how her kinky ass gets. Sasuke, now realizing Killer B is no joke, decides to jump him. So Igetsu kicks off the jumping by trying to take off Killer B's head with his sword. But B dodges it, uses Jugo as a launch pad, then kicks the shit out of Sasuke and Suigetsu simultaneously. Sasuke tries to counter with a Chidori, but Killer B dodges it and hits him with a mean uppercut while flexing on him at the same time. Jugo tries to down smash him, but Killer B dodges that too. Killer B tries to sneak Suigetsu, but it ends up backfiring. Suigetsu ends up trapping Killer B's fist in his guts by partially turning into water. So Sasuke takes this opportunity to hit him with a Chidori. While stunned, Jugo tries to hit him with another down smash, but Killer B dodges this attack again. Look at Jugo's face. I know he's still embarrassed by how Killer B did him in the beginning of the fight. That's why he out here putting his whole back into these swings. He's 
he's trying to get back by any means necessary. Killer B decides to take off and hide behind a rock because he needs a breather. And you know what? I can't even blame him. He out here getting 4v1 on a random Wednesday afternoon. Bro just trying to go home. But before he can flee, Meat Muncher calls out his hiding spot like the snitch he is. Killer B really getting pissed off now so he decides to pull out the 8 tail chakra cloak. Sasuke sees this and immediately starts getting flashbacks of the day Naruto pieced him up at the final valley. B avoids Sasuke and decides to gun for the weaker links instead. But Jugo moves them out the way with that dirty curse mark arm just before Killer B could get to them. Killer B now charges at Sasuke but he's immediately put into a state of paralysis by Sasuke's Sharingan. Now Sasuke over there clutching his eyes cause as we all know the more you push the Sharingan the more pain you'll be in. Them niggas might go one jutsu over the limit and just start tweaking out. Before Sasuke can even turn around to get a look at B he gets hit with the meanest clothesline I've ever seen. Bro look at this! Get this man be a WWE contract immediately! That clothesline was so mean Itachi felt that shit in the grave. Jugo catches Sasuke out the air and begins to assess the damage. Killer B's clothesline was so dirty that it caved in Sasuke's neck and chest causing severe bleeding. Now call me a sick man but when I heard this I actually started dying of laughter. All these fancy jutsus and crazy combos and this nigga got taken out by a clothesline? Like what? Itachi did not die for this. Get up. Oddly enough instead of getting help from Meat Muncher again Jugo decides to help him instead by merging with him what and sharing his chocolate. Hey, hey whoa hold on now what kind of merge are you talking about here? Is this cold for something else? Cause why is my man's hand bobbing over hey, yo, Sasuke's midsection what? like that? What do y'all got going on in this freaky ass group? And why is everybody in the group always doing the most to save this nigga? At what point do we say alright nigga damn just die? He got stabbed six times and got his organ squashed. It's time to let him go. They out here acting like them dog owners who refuse to let their dog go. Yeah he's turning 17 this year. He's blind out of both eyes, deaf in one ear and had both hips replaced and can't swallow his food but he's still kicking our little schmooka pumps. Ma'am let that dog rest please. He not even alive at that point. He just a zombie. But I guess Sasuke lucky he the one carrying the squad though cause anyone else would have gotten left. Killer B ready to end this fight so he transforms into the eight tail. Sasuke down there barely alive realizes he can't hang with B so he decides to flee while Sugetsu holds him off. Before they could even take two steps B hits Sugetsu with a tail beast bomb causing a big ass explosion. The explosion was so loud that two ninjas from the cloud village heard it. Now at this point I'm thinking oh y'all finished now you were already getting pieced up while jumping him but now he got reinforcements y'all are cooked but instead of jumping in these niggas just watching while asking stupid questions i thought the raikage doesn't allow killer b to turn into the eight tails and why is the akatsuki here nigga you don't see him getting jumped jump in and help him damn killer b tries to take them all out with the tentacles of his eight tails but sasuke hits him with that amaterasu turning killer b into a hot serving of calamari Mm -mm -mm. Y'all ever had calamari? That shit hit different, especially with the little sauce on the side. Ooh, wee. Damn, my bad. You're right. It's not the time for that. While Killer B over there tweaking out, one of his tentacles almost falls on Me Muncher. But Sasuke slices it in half with his lightning blade. Another tentacle is about to fall on her, except this one is lit by the Amaterasu. Sasuke tells her to run, but she hits this slow ass jaw. I don't even know what to call this. Like, what is that? She just started swinging her arm real fast while moving slow as a snail. Like you're not fooling anybody, we see that you're barely moving. The tentacle ends up falling on her head so she gets lit by the black flames. But Sasuke somehow gets rid of the flames with his Sharingan. After realizing he can now reverse the Amaterasu, he takes the flames off of Killer B leaving him barely alive so they decide to capture. Now I was already mad that my nigga B was not given the faith of a 1v1 but you wanna know what pissed me off even more? Remember those two ninjas that hurt? the explosion a couple minutes ago they in the same exact spot watching with a telescope you gotta be some sorry ninjas to just watch one of your own get jumped especially when the whole squad is already one shot they up there talking about some wait till the raikage finds out what happened to his younger brother if i'm the raikage and you come to me with this information my first thought is gonna be so what did y'all do you just watched him get jumped i'd snatch those cloud ninja headbands off their heads so fast you better pick a new career maybe in a astronomer would suit you since you just want to sit there and watch shit happen through a telescope all day. Get your lame ass on. But anyway, decent fight.
fight. Sasuke got saved by plot armor yet again. And even though Killer B's fight style was a little unorthodox, he really showed us why he's him. I don't really wanna know. Shorty telling me her name. I don't really wanna know.